My name is Fadi Rob. I'm a marketing associate here at Town Spirits uh, in Gardner, New York, and we are the home of American Craft Whiskey, and we are the ones who started that craft industry uh, within New York State, revitalized it after Prohibition ended. Each year, uh, it's, it's averaged up to roughly 50,000 visitors a year. Uh, so we've been super lucky with the, the traffic that just flows through our tiny town of Gardner just to see the leaves change to go apple picking, pumpkin picking, as well as having uh, the gorgeous home of American rock climbing right nearby. Uh, there's also just a ton of amazing food bars to see around here. That uh, it's, it's a gorgeous getaway for anyone just around the city area with about only an hour, hour and 15 minute drive. So we always welcome everyone from all different directions and uh, we hope to see you guys soon for the summer, spring, fall, winter, whenever you like to come by. That's when Ralph Renzo bought this property uh, to make it a bed and breakfast called the Bunks and the Guns uh, for the Schwangung Bridge, which is right across from the look over that view. And uh, the reason being is there wasn't enough uh, luxury settling areas for rock climbers. And um, we want to create a place where people can come back online and have a nice rest before going out the next day. The town, a lot of people actually move up here for the peace and quiet, so they kind of were concerned with the noise that would, uh, that would come with this big increase of uh, drawing in crowds and tourism. Uh, so Ralph was stuck with 36 acres worth of land, uh, and he didn't know what to do with it. And because it was zoned as agricultural farmland, you could open a farm distillery. And what that means is that because we are zoned on agricultural land, we just have to use 75% of our ingredients from New York State, as well as we are limited to 35,000 gallons as we started out this place, which wasn't a tough feat for such a small craft industry. Everything is done by humans, and I say that very literally because a lot of major distilleries will actually just have a massive control room where one gentleman or one or one lady will be controlling it uh, using a computer system. The way we do our cup points and what makes us craft is that everything is done by a person. So our distillers will take off samples, nose it, try to point out the, the flavors that we don't want. If it's not ready yet, they'll let it keep running. As it gets closer to the heart, they smell it, they nose it, they taste it, and then they actually test the proof to see if it's up to the standards to switch it over and collect it to a separate drum. The same goes for the tail cuts, and then that gives us our craft and spirit. Every time we have someone doing this, and it's always to our specification, our standards. It's you know 80 degrees right now, it might drop down to like 60 tonight. That's very, very preferable for us. Uh, the reason being is because we want it to flow through that char level uh, and basically a, uh, a thin line of wood sugars. When you char and toast a barrel, you're allowing those complex sugars to break down and be more uh, available for the whiskey to come in contact with. Like I said, drop it in.